What's up, Lantern fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, and I'm coming at you once again with another Green Lantern collecting video. I recently went on a road trip, and of course, I'm always looking for Green Lantern goodies, so I hit up a number of comic book shops, and here are my latest pickups. Here is Green Lantern Core number one. This is the second print of this issue, and you can tell that by the red background. I got this out of a dollar box, and in that same long box, I found this copy of Green Lantern number 23. And if you remember, Green Lantern Volume 5, number 23, had a number of variant covers of that issue as part of the Forever Evil storyline. And next, I went to a trading post, and I was very excited about these. I found three variant covers from Green Lantern, Planet of the Apes. This is the Cover E Incentive Paul Ravoche Silver Age Virgin variant cover. And of course, it's an homage to Showcase number 22, the first appearance of Hal Jordan. This is issue number one of that series. This is the first time I've seen any of these. This is issue number five from that series. This is the Cover D Incentive Paul Ravoche Classic Virgin Variant Cover, and it's an homage to Green Lantern Volume 2, number 127. And next up, we have my favorite of these three rare variant covers that I was able to snag. This is number six in the series, and this image should be very familiar to Green Lantern fans. And here we see the Cover D Incentive Paul Ravoche Classic Virgin Variant cover of Green Lantern Volume 3, number 49. And of course, that cover was done by my favorite artist and friend, Daryl Banks. This is one of the most famous Green Lantern covers ever from the impactful story Emerald Twilight that led to the introduction of Kyle Rayner. And this homage cover captures that same crazed energy, so it's a really cool addition to my collection. And the colors on this are just exquisite. I got really excited when I saw this, so I'm sure you don't have any problems believing that. But that is not all that I have gotten. This is something that I didn't even know existed. This is a five-pack of Justice League bath squirters that I found at Walmart. And as you can see, Jon Stewart is among those. Here's a look at the back. These look like they would be a lot of fun for children. But of course, I'm just going to keep these in the package as a collector. But my biggest find of the trip was Green Lantern Volume 2, number 43. This is the first appearance of Major Disaster. I always get excited by looking at old comics up close. Of course, I washed my hands before I began this review. Mm, look at that image. I love those old colors. And as you can see, this issue featured a team up with the Flash. And Hal makes some pretty impressive constructs in this issue. You can see a couple of those here. And I just love looking at these old aged pages. And if you've never read this issue before, Hal and Barry's powers are actually switched in this issue. You can see the Flash powered up with Green Lantern energy here. You've got to love that iconic Gil Kane art. And here you can see Hal Jordan moving at super speed the way that Barry Allen usually would. This isn't the highest grade copy, but I got it for $20 and I am more than satisfied with the condition that it's in. I'm feeling around for any missing pieces, and the cover feels very smooth. Let's take a look at the front now. I always thought that Major Disaster was a really interesting character, so I'm very happy to have this. There's a little bit of roughness right in the middle there, and there's quite a few spine ticks here. If I had to take a guess at condition, I'd say a 4 or 4.5 in terms of CGC grading. 
And here's the story titled, The Catastrophic Crimes of Major Disaster. I hope that you were entertained by this video. If so, please like and subscribe. Remember to catch me on the Emerald Echo, a Green Lantern podcast that's available right here on YouTube, where we will be covering the relaunch of Green Lantern starting next month with Green Lantern number one. And I'll be back with more Green Lantern content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.